Welcome back to the Tales of New Dunhaven. Today, the Obsidian Coin Crew is playing, starring Zenkarn. Yo. Avis Echo. Hello. Digo. Hey. And Smarty. So. And previously in New Dunhaven, Obsidian Coin was responsible for driving out a Vladish expat living under a different name, mainly by using sorcery and illusions to inadvertently make him fear for the ownership of his, of his own mind. That was great. At the very least, their client was freed from prison, but they also killed a church assassin that had been following the crew, making the Church of the Silver Judge not so happy. While the crew has been laying low, oh, <laughs> another crew has been making headlines across the city. The cackling crows stopped what could have been a mass murder at a high-profile political and religious event, but not without making a big show and even name-dropping their own crew. So now the whole city is caught up in the fantasy of the right kind of people descending from the rooftops to save the day. And even though many many lives were saved, the Cackling Crows had a sorcerer of their own making a big show of things, meaning the church was even less pleased with who the leverage broker has been employing. Despite all this, Diane is still offering jobs to interested crews, though that may change. So today's uh, job begins... Uh, at the uh, at the broker's offices, uh, the top floor of the, the tower where you've been a couple, a couple times, a couple times before, or once before. I don't. Have you guys been? Let's see. Possibly. Probably. We've done before. a couple leverage jobs. One yes. of them, you you went to prison instead. And <laughs> uh, All right. Oh yeah, one. that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> the only group so far to go to prison, and we didn't even have to stay. <laughs> Go to prison and come out of it in the same day. I mean, uh, that's that's normal. Monopoly rules. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, uh, you all arrive at the tower. I assume with the same characters as last time. Which yes. Was... Mm -hmm. Yes. And is that kind of playing the uh, Rebecca Lynn, the cleaner, right? Yes. Unless you want me to play Teeny Tiny Zenkon, I'm pretty sure I've still got that character. <laughs> No, you cannot play teeny tiny Zenkarn in this system. <laughs> That's the problem. I know you submitted a character sheet and everything, but no. <laughs> I mostly do it just under Ava's smarty off. Um, yep. So the tower. All right. I, yeah. I think mm -hmm. I know how the cackling crows managed to get ahead of us in the game. How's that? Because mages are bullshit. Lack of teeny tiny zen cards. <laughs> they didn't have a small necromantic zebra cheering them on. This isn't my fault. They take no responsibility. Anyway, anyway. All right. So uh, you all arrive at the tower, and uh, sitting in sort of the central conference room uh, is Diane and uh, a man. Uh, wearing the uh, uniform of a fire brigadier, basically the the one of the private fire departments in the city, and he's looking, uh, you know, rather despondent. And then uh, they look up at you as you approach, and Diane says, "This is uh, Andrew Roberts, our client. Andrew, this is uh, this is the team that will be helping you today." Good afternoon. Oh, morning. Either one. Hello. Mm. Is it is it all early in the morning for you? <laughs> no, I'm just lazy. <laughs> no, I'm just lazy. Yeah, I was polite. You're a mom. <laughs> You're the team mom. You have to be polite. Hush, you stop slouching. No. All right. So Andrew goes into telling his story. Uh, my wife Carol went missing a few days ago, and I've talked to the city watch and it's not like i have enough money for the dredgers watch hasn't been able to help i asked i asked diane here and uh apparently she's down in the old city and i guess i need help for that i can't really pay you for the help but if my wife's down there then there's, there's all sorts of dangers down there that just i don't know is there and, any reason she would be down there I, I, not that, I, I don't know, just, and Diane, uh, sort of puts her hand on Andrew's wrist and says, thank you. We will, 
get in touch with you. Yeah. We'll bring your wife back safely. And Andrew just sort of nods uncertainly, gets up, gives you all sort of a hard stare, and walks out of the room and out, out the office door. And Diane leans back in her chair, crosses her arms, and says, So, Carol Roberts publicly is a salvager, someone who goes down to the old city to find, you know, goods and whatnot. But uh, mm. she wasn't, you know, wasn't really supposed to be down there during this period. And, well, I've discovered in my sort of uh, uh, legwork that uh, she's the right kind of person, privately. And her husband has no idea. What ah. discipline, if I may ask? What does she do? Mike, it seems to be a thief for the hanged, which means they're not part of the arrangement. Ah, yes, I can see why that produces some difficulties. So, our victim, Carol, has gotten herself probably into some manner of trouble down the old city on some manner of job. And I've tracked as far as sort of which entrance she used, but as far as finding her, well, not only not only is that going to be your job, but we're also going to need the help of the Forgotten, because they're the only group that really knows how to navigate the old city. I see. And they can prop, mm. given the information, they can probably lead you to her, but the challenge isn't going to be finding her and bringing her back so much as surviving the challenges of the old city, which is not just sort of structural challenges like cave-ins and collapses, but, well, you hear stories sometimes of monsters down there, mm -hmm. and certainly it's very easy to get lost without the help of a forgotten guide. I'm assuming you have all the relevant, the normal relevant details, descriptions, friends, that kind of thing. Uh, that's, yes, but... Considering the problem at hand, it's not terribly relevant. Never I'd, know. I'd suggest. Well, you can spend. So you can spend your day possibly looking into her contacts, both criminal and otherwise, to see what might have been the trouble. But I'd suggest spending your day gathering any sorts of special supplies you might need to handle a trip to the old city. And in the evening, it will be go time. Of course, as you say. This isn't usual heist, I understand. It's more of a dungeon delve, but... You. Yet. <laughs> but, unless you should try to be prepared, and, well, at the very least, this type of job will give you a low profile. Which... Mm, that is true. We sort of sorely need, lately. Especially after, well, the little accident you had on your last job. I regret nothing. I'm sure she'll be on her best behavior this time, aren't you? I make no promises. Mm. Until we need her to not. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Diane leaves, giving, leaving with you information that your uh, forgotten contact is going to a uh, beggar by the name of Mumbles. And, uh, leaves you to plan. Starting now. So, what do we know about the old city? It's old. It's old. Helpful. It's a city. Absolutely nothing, since none of us go down there very often, and we don't have a forgotten member among our ranks. Alright, so... Mm, yep, pretty much. So, to pause the clock and give you guys a bit of backstory. Uh, the old city, basically, there was a big fire that ravaged the entire city. Then there was a huge reconstruction project, and... That is the Dunhaven, the new Dunhaven we all live and work in right now. But the old city didn't, like, get burned all to ashes. A lot of the old structures were there, and they were just sort of paved over. So basically, you, you have, depending on parts of the part of the city you're in, either, like, you know, cavernous, collapsed tunnels that used to be streets, or surprisingly well-preserved, like, almost like an underground city in itself, but no one really inhabits it. So, like, slummy. Not not, not 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 even not even slummy, but abandoned, <clears throat> and all all dark and underground. 
Chicago after the Great Fire, and they just built a new city oh, over the old one. <laughs> yeah. Detroit. The bad parts of Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. okay. And, it, it, and, you know, it's it's rumored to be so dangerous that you know people go down there and never come back again. Mm-hmm. Whether they get lost or get consumed by whatever's down there. But it spans basically the entire city. Just it's just in different states of repair in different places. Some places it's completely collapsed in. Others it's uh you know, others it's pretty well preserved. Anyway, resume. Alright, well I'm thinking we make some acid for the trip in case we need to eat through a stubborn door lock or something. Well, let's just say the general thing of we're going to have to, like, scope around the entire place. There's a lot of place to scope, though. And? I mean, we have a general idea of the the area, so we're not scoping out the entire city? I suppose you got a point there. You have the entrance, so if he's down there, one can she's not too far away from that. Possibly. Well, I mean, it would depend on what. (laughs) It would depend on what she's after. Like that's the thing. We don't know. We we know she was down there, but we don't know if she was just salvaging or if she was actually looking for something specific. And if she was looking for something specific, then it'll be a lot easier to find her because she'll be around wherever the hell that thing is. Versus if she's just randomly scavenging. So then we now have two objectives. There we have. The look around in just general casing of the area around the entrance she used. And then also um, asking about anyone that's down there-ish. Well, asking if anyone knows why she's down there this time in particular. Do we even know what she looks like? I would assume we were given a vague uh, description. You've You've got a photo. So, like, um, that find would, out that would be why she was down thing. there, where she's, where she could have had to, mm-hmm. um, anyone, anyone who would know that, um, because it's now we have this woman that the, the guy only knows half her life. What about the other half? Mm, yeah. He would only know who likes her on that side. Who, who knows who she, could actually hate her? Mm. Yeah, we're kind of working on the assumption that she's still alive. Um, I'm not. <laughs> you guys are really optimistic. <laughs> Find her or her body. Well, we don't get paid. I don't think we get paid if she's dead, so... I don't think we'll get paid as much if she's dead. I don't think we'd get paid, period. I mean, I'm just being realistic. I mean, it it's, not that I, it's not that I don't, like, agree with you. Don't get me wrong. but. Man, if she's dead, it's just going to make life awkward because getting a yeah. corpse out of there is going to be so much more difficult than getting a living person. No, I disagree with that. Like Giving a corpse out is easier than dragging out a screaming and struggling woman. That's why you knock her out. That's why you just convince them not to freak you out. But yeah, no, I get, I, I do get what you're saying. Anyway. <laughs> knock out. Drop. So we need to look about the area, see if anything sticks out. And then ask about who knows her, where she could have gone, who knew she was going down, who her enemies, etc., etc., etc. Gotcha. Like a giant shopping list of questions, because we now have to find out the whole life of this woman that a man only knew half of. Mm-hmm. A loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a list of all your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're yeah, not is. wrong. Um, Equipment-wise, what do we want to take down with us? If this place is, you know, crumbling and filled with monsters and awful people. Do we acid. know what these rumors of monsters are? Nope. Not in any great detail. Joy. Maybe that's another thing someone can go into. Like, one of the first things is ask about the old city itself, and what could possibly be down there. Yep. So mm-hmm. interview our mumble or our forgotten, sorry, mumbles. No, mumbles is the the, is the, the, the mummer, is the mummer. 
The no, I think no, that's, this... that's that's the forgotten. Content. Oh, it is the forgotten. Yeah, yes, his name forgotten. is Mumbles, and I'm mistaken. Oh, Mumbles. Mum. They started with the same M U M. That's where I messed up. That was my. That was my. Not bad. one of my people. It would have been a lot easier if it was. <laughs> but yeah, it's asking them around because otherwise it'd be an entire trip to uh, the forgotten in general to ask what's down there and what to expect. I think they're exaggerating, but that's just me. Mm. I'm perfectly prepared. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> says, says, says our assassin as she walks in and sees a 30-foot monster with too many teeth. Not prepped for this anymore. Not prepped. Uh, I would, I'd quit right then and there. <laughs> I'd quit right then and there. Just straight up, this job is not worth it. Let's all go get drunk. I No, I'd go right back to the, the no, castle. No, no, no. It's like, lock me up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. This world's too fucked up right now. <laughs> so how would you like to enter? Just calmly or kicking and screaming? Kicking and screaming, please. <laughs> all right. So who's doing what? I'm Excellent scouting. question. That's what I'm that good does, at. That doesn't sound like you at all. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um. Dago, do you want to go, seeing as, you know, you're an alchemist, do you want to go do supply runs, seeing as you'd probably know more merchants than the rest of us? Yes. That sounds like a great idea. We'll give you the shopping list. (laughs) Here's your half the shopping list. (laughs) So it rolls down to the floor. (laughs) Rolls out the door. (laughs) Down the stairs. Um, And out the door because it's done with this job. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, who wants to do... So, what, what, what's that left? Um, that leaves information I gathering to be split between the two of you, unless you want to do it together. Well, yeah, if Swanny goes and do, does monsters, I can probably track down people and ask about her and sort of who she is. Do we know what, like, we... Yeah, yeah, she did tell us that her she worked for, the so we can just go talk to her gang. Yeah. We can just go annoy the hanged until they give us information. Because that do you works wanna, do you wanna so wait? well. If you're going to the hanged, do you want to wait until one of the others is free? I uh, feel like if you're going to one of to someone not in. Actually, Katia, do you want to come come with? Let me do my scouting and I'll help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah obviously you afterwards. You, you're not like there terribly. Are six hours in a bush. You're not like terribly <laughs> uh, restricted unless you're trying to do two things at the exact same time. Yeah, and you want to avoid as much conspicuousness as possible. I'm yeah. actually not conspicuous in this area at all. It's great. <laughs> Unlike every other job. Unlike every other job where you're conspicuous literally everywhere. Because we kept going to the uh, the noble districts, which are like hell for me. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah. So we have me, me scouting. We have you getting stuff. I'm on beast duty. You're on beast duty, and then I'm going to help you uh, intimidate the hanged <laughs> for information. Sounds like plan. Basically what we're doing. <laughs> intimidate. Okay. <laughs> Diplomacy. No. <laughs> What's this diplomacy you speak of? I'll be there to do the diplomacy. You're the good cop. I'm the bad cop. Let's go. Yeah, it'll be great. This what is why I said wait for someone else to go before you go. Well, it's that's that's, that's why I asked if you wanted to come with me. This is why I'm coming. Well, there we it's go. A cop murderer. Mm. <laughs> um. All right. Do we want to? Do we need to spend influence on anything at the moment? Like, do um, we need anything? You're not really going to get a chance to spend influence once you're down there, so. I'm trying to think of anything I could do, which is probably nothing. Can I give Dagger's character ex- like if, if Dagger's character gets explosives, would he be able to use them? Um, I'm not black powder explosives. I don't know if those count as really alchemical. Uh, alchemy refers to like very special brand of science that changes the properties of things. Magic chemical. Hmm. But I could have the wolves pay someone an intimidating visit. <laughs> I can actually do that. Nice, do it. <laughs> you want some wolves to go with you instead? Heck yeah. Okay. 
Okay. No, just uh, bring them with us. We can all go. It'd be great. <laughs> Take a giant party. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wait. If you're bringing wolves, can I spend influence to bring, um... We're not making this a giant thing. <laughs> bring, like, eight people just no! sitting down there. It's like, <laughs> so, we want to know about this chick. <laughs> Hang to, like, who the hell are you people and why are there so many? Anything specific I'm going to be buying? I mean, I could spend my influence to uh, gain access to family-controlled assets and secret warehouse. I feel like a lot of these things we need to do um, are determined, and things we need are determined by the information we find out, which is kind of why I was se- trying to separate when I went scouting and when we went to the hang, just because information would be transferred between time a lot of it's also okay. going to be, like, food, light, and provisions, so. Mm. So, like, I almost want to say that you'd be going after the yes. monster thing. I was thinking. It's like any rumor would affect what you got. So, yeah, so basic ropes, supplies, and whatever... rope repellents. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basic supplies and provisions, and then whatever is found out from the monster rumor. Burn so, cream. Case of Trixana. A shiny ball to distract <laughs> always need Santa. Cream, cream Not right. because of fire. So. Alright, two minutes, thirty seconds. Alright, really? um... Wow. Hmm. So it says, um... So Spud, it says, obtain one firearm or explosive for the duration of the job. What counts as an explosive in this setting? Something Not a bundle of explosives. Something that can is in one container. Hmm. So like a, a single stick of dynamite, in theory. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That could actually come in handy for like. Check the cherry bombs. Handy. Get a bag of cherry bombs. Firecrackers. It, it's it's a yeah. Sing- it, it it's a single explosive, so single use. Cherry bombs are just small. like a really large firework. Um. Or I could just get caught here. Firework. I don't need it. <laughs> Do not give me it. Do not give it to me. I mean, Alt City is probably the one place you could fire a gun and and not worry about the watch coming along. If I am given a gun, I will give it to Trixana. I'm not sure giving Trixana a gun is a good idea. Exactly, so <laughs> don't give me the gun. You need to shoot someone. You skill. You need to shoot someone. To shoot someone. <laughs> Please, I have a gun and I don't have a shoot someone skill. Oh god, I have it. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, I honestly do not know why. I have 80% why. for shoot someone. Yeah, because I, I, you, yeah, hand, I, you, you don't assassins get like a hand crossbow? Yeah, but I didn't know that shoot someone incorporate went to handguns as well. Yes, it does. It's, oh, are, are, are you sure you don't want a gun? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so would it, would it be the same, um, same flintlock pistol I have? Uh, yeah. I would say so. Because, hang on, I'll post the stats, because I don't know if they're better than your hand crossbow. Uh, I have a musket. My hand crossbow is plus 30 damage. Yeah, plus 40, deals two wounds when wounding, when wounding one action to reload. Oh, God. <laughs> so if you want <laughs> another plus 10 damage... <laughs> you're asking me to kill people! Oh, no, I'm, because you've I'm never giving, done that before. I'm giving you a gun not to. I'm giving you a gun because we may be going into a monster-infested wasteland. Fine. Cool, I'm I spend my I'm not using it unless I absolutely kind of need gun. it, though. I'm not saying that you should go around just shooting random gods. I'm just the giving you The majority of our, our conversation is the two of us arguing. <laughs> Are we done? Yes, we're done. <laughs> yes, we're planning is over. <laughs> but yeah, I'll yeah, go I'll over with this stupid argument that meant nothing. Cardi is a gun. Uh, <laughs> such okay. a bad idea. You, <laughs> you gain a spare flintlock pistol. Sweet. All right. So who's doing their leg work first? Cardi. Okay. Seeing as you're scouting, it makes sense. I right. mean, sitting the bush and watching engines. <laughs> Basically. All right, then, I guess case the joint is uh, the role we're looking for here. Just flat? Yeah. You, you, you've got the location. There's, It's, like, uh, hidden in a building where there's, like, a hole in the corner where the floor meets the wall and it leads down into 
sort of a broken stairwell it leads down into a very old building uh that's buried beneath the ground and basically it's just about uh finding a spot to watch it that's not obvious but uh so yeah either sneak around or case the joint sneak around <laughs> <laughs> because that is a 90 <laughs> nice all right so uh you notice uh a few of the forgotten you know sort of very uh very scruffy uh men uh old women and, and children sort of giving furtive glances before they head in through the ruined door and into the building uh which is you know you you've you've been told is rather normal behavior but uh from your hiding spot you also notice uh at one point several uh several thuggish looking people in uh blood red clothing enter would i recognize that as hanged or someone no they don't they don't look like the hanged hanged usually have more like uh dusters and sort of you know tricorn hats sort of piratey sort of gear and i haven't seen any of those people at all no just the forgotten in these people yep can i tell them um yes so yeah roll to tail someone with a couple of challenge dies because <laughs> it involves going into kind of an enclosed space i getting... perceive myself getting lost <laughs> how many one two you got this probably not no i don't at all <laughs> Um, so, let's see, yeah, okay, so, uh, what happens is you, uh, head out of your hiding spot to, uh, to tail them, and you sort of go in through the door behind them, but you fail to conceal your, the sounds of your movement, and as the two, as, as the two guys are following start to, you know, climb into the, uh, old city entrance, they turn around and spot you. Fun. Uh, so if we're gonna leave <laughs> or at least seem like I'm just gonna go a different direction it's just be like oh sorry wrong building I guess <laughs> after I'm drunk <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk <laughs> that's the excuse are you trying to <laughs> I'm just gonna leave I'm not doing that that's stupid Let's not dig my hole any deeper. Already. No, we're just gonna back up. Alright, you try to back away, but they draw knives and try to approach you. Shoot them. I I'm going to. I am going to shoot them. You <laughs> mean with with that gun that I gave you? <laughs> <laughs> the gun that you said you weren't going to use unless you had to. You're above, um, you're above ground still. Yeah, so no, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my crossbow, because I'm still at a distance, technically. So you draw your hand crossbow, and they uh, pause, realizing that even though they've got you outnumbered two to one, that you seem significantly more armed. We can play this the easy way or the hard way. Which would you like? Uh, What's the easy way? The easy way is me not using this. And you'll is anything go... that includes me not using this. So you'll go away and we go our way? Sure. And I was not here. You, you and I'll it. know if you said anything. Right. They wait for you to leave, still holding their their knives. I'm going to back up without turning my back on them. Right. Uh, you notice now that you've gotten the good close look at them that they uh seem to be of the blooded cartel fun so that adds another thing into this all right so oh yeah i forgot to uh forgot to add heat at the beginning of the session right sorry about that anyway uh so i think that about does it for uh your legwork scene basically yeah. So who's next? Uh, Sparty, go. 
Hang on. I'm going to add a little bit of heat uh, for getting spotted. So I didn't kill anyone though. <laughs> Ouch! Almost. No, but they, they but you did see each other, and even though you know, you know they they know you're they know you're present basically. I know. So I am on monster difficulty. So I am gonna go to one of the pubs, one of my people's pubs, and just have a look around, see if there's any uh, other scavengers, because you know, they'd like probably come back after a hard day's work, get a pint or something, and just have a chat with them and be like, so what? What shit goes on down there? What information are you specifically looking to get? Uh, are you are you trying to ask about the monster stuff or? Yes, I mean okay. specifically the monsters, but anything I can get out of them would be good. All right. Um, what is your sort of chatting people up skill? Uh, what would that be? I've got not really. I'm not really going online, Tim, so I can't eighty percent there. Um, uh, would scavengers be considered merchants? Um, they work for merchants. That yeah, might be close enough. Maybe, uh, maybe a bit of a cha- maybe a bit of there. maybe a bit of a challenge because they're sort of in a business, but not like quite doing the selling. Mm. So your skills at gossiping with merchants wouldn't. Yeah, you know, th- this would be more mm. like if it existed gossiping with laborers, but. <laughs> Uh, that's a, I'm just going to go with anything else then, which is a 50. No, no, g- gossip with the merchants, but with a uh, challenge. Alright. I have completely forgotten how to roll. This is, uh, you know, I want to just look at that. Challenge is the... Uh, 10. Eight, was it 10? Alright, good. I did do that right. I just wanted to make sure before I pushed enter. All right. Ooh. Um. So you succeed with the drawback. Uh, I'm gonna say the drawback is. Um. Oh, and I'm probably not gonna get some of the inside secrets out of them because I'm quite clearly not dressed as a scavenger. Yeah, you're very clearly not like. Very clearly you're, a magician. You're very clearly not in their business and can't really extract much gossip out of them, but. Uh, you do get them to talk a little bit about the old city and some of the rumors thereof and one guy sa- the, the morsel you get out of this is that one guy says um, you know you know what I think I think that if there's any sort of monster down there you know where it came from you know there's a bunch of alchemists working in the city and they gotta dump their stuff somewhere right uh, yeah I get what you mean and yet, wildlife got in the mix and all sorts of havoc played so you, you mix that with, like, the people who, you know, run away to the old city to escape the watch or the law or, you know, because they got nowhere else to go. And people who, who end up just living down there, just lost forever, living off of rats. Like, yeah, you, you, mix, rat you, mix, you, mix, you mix you mix those two things together, boom, I think you got your monsters. Giant rats. Mutants and other heretical shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> I, d- I doubt the church goes down there on, like, purges or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that as well. But yeah, that's good. Cheers. All right. I'll just buy a drink. <laughs> just as a thanks. Well, he appreciates it. Awesome. <laughs> Everybody just slowly turns their head towards his ego. <laughs> 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 Generally, all I had. Digo turns this, yeah. turn this into Cloverfield. Digo's going to turn <laughs> Cloverfield it up. This has gone from Thieves to Cloverfield. I haven't actually yes. seen any of the Cloverfield stuff. I've seen the first one. It's all right. I haven't seen the new one. The new one is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> and the strings that link them all together are very thin. Anyway. Yeah, that's really all I had to go to the pub and chat up some scavengers. All right, Get so first hand experience. That's uh, that's your legwork scene done. Mm-hmm. Tiger, you're up. 
Yay. It's time for shopping with Digo. Anything special you want to get, or just general supplies? I guess general food supplies. Make sure we have, like, rope. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say none of that really requires a whole lot of challenge, so you can just do it. It's if you want to get something, like, a lot more specialized or specific that I would ask you to start uh, rolling something or using influence. Yeah, nothing comes to mind, because I can make some of my own stuff during the planning. Which happened. Did you make yeah. anything? Uh, acid. Okay. Acid for melting solid objects. Got it. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, I can ju- you just say that uh, you gather up all those supplies and have them delivered to, you know, a safe place so that you can uh, get everyone equipped before you head out. Uh, do we get one more planning phase before we head out? Uh, it was suggested that you go in tonight so as to not oh, okay. you know, waste too much gotcha. time. Fair enough. Okay. And since it won't really matter whether it's night or day down there. <laughs> it's always dark. Which just leaves Zenkarn's legwork scene. Woo! All right. Did you want me to use that influence to bring wolves? Yeah, why not? Okay, goodbye influence that I actually get to use on myself. <laughs> I spend influence to negate how you use influence now. Um, Stop. <laughs> all right. Yep. Yeah, so, what was that? What was the plan? Go and talk to go and talk to our employers and see if she got well her sent group, which any... was the hanged. Yeah, and see if she was on any specific mission find out more about her who could have hated her yeah gen- general life details yep all right so you you ava spent some influence to make sure you've got a couple of circle brawlers coming along to help you pay an intimidating visit yes <laughs> um you're pointed towards uh, a specific set of turf on the docks and when you arrive you see there's sort of a piratey looking ship uh docked there and a uh, bit of a standoff happening between uh the Red Lotus Society and the Hanged. Oh god damn it. Um I'll go over and talk to the Red Lotus people, I guess. Um you start to head over, a few of them point pistols at you and now it's a three way standoff. But then, uh, they, uh, they, then they yeah. see that you're society and allow you and only you to come forward. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll gesture for Cartier and the the wolves to stay and go over to whoever seems the most in charge. Um, sort of a dark skinned man kind of looks over at you and says, "And what do you want with these vagabonds? Uh, we're on a mission. They have information we need." Make it basic quick stuff so we can get back to kicking them off our turf. Can do, boss. Um, I need my friends, and I'll I'll point back to my little group. Very well, they're with you. Uh, they are. Um, so when you stay there on a ship, um, the, 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 the few of them are are have uh, disembarked, and now they're they're standing on the dockyard. Cool. Um, walk over and be like, so we're looking for information on a particular thief that worked for you. I was hoping you could help us out. And why should we help you exactly? Because she's been lost in the, well, lower city and where, uh, well, her husband is particularly worried about her safety and has hired us to help her, and us finding her nets you resources, so helping us is in your best interest. The leader of this particular group, the woman in a duster and a pirate hat, uh, just kind of raises an eyebrow at you and says, we're talking about Carol? Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, she's with us. You're looking for her? Yeah, she went off to do it job or scavenge or something and she never came home that yeah okay hmm so she's stuck in the old city by the sounds of it hmm well all right you see this what's happening here 
the standoff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ever since one of the blooded lost their ships, there's been sort of a tussle, let's say, between the Red Lotus Society and the blooded, which, you know, we couldn't care less about. And we thought maybe we could get on some of the action in the chaos. But yeah, as you can see, that's not really working out. So, but basically the blooded are pissed. Because now that, they've lost a lot of their naval control, and we've been picking up the slack, which so is which is which is kind of pissed off the Red Light Lotus Society. But anyway, right? We we didn't have we didn't we were not the ones who sent Carol on any particular place. Just one morning, she didn't show up. So she just went scavenging. She wasn't there for items or tracking down something it was nope, just a general no, scavenging we, mission we did notice a while back that some members of our crew were being followed of course they were um yeah okay so those members that were being followed anything happened to them no the rest of them came back fine do you know if she had any enemies or owed anybody anything not that i'm aware of cardio do you have any questions none particular so oh did anyone hate her i mean there's plenty of people who hate us anyone in particular i don't know that that uh blooded kappa who lost an eye because he lost one of the blooded's main smuggling ships Right, you are at war with an entire another cartel. Fantastic. Well, um, what is so that, war with, that with everybody is what I heard. Well, yes, but that doesn't really narrow down our list of potential suspects. Seems like the blood just the blooded to me. You really need more than that. More would have been appreciative. Well, like I'm not freaking omniscient over here. Well, thank you for your time, anyway. Sure, you maybe want to put in a good word with your guys over there? Sure, I can do that. And as sort of we leave, I'll um I'll mention to the guy I was talking to before that, you know, they they're really just cheered like, you know, it's it's more business for them and cutting them some slack maybe, you know, worth the effort. They're not bad people that just came in at the wrong time. He says, Alright, we'll just charge them exorbitantly. Looks for me. And you hear some groans from the hanged as you walk away. Hey, I promised to put in a good word. I didn't say I wasn't going to make sure my cartel came out the best. <laughs> it's just business. Damn right. Well played. All right. So the evening arrives, and a little bit more heat goes on the stack. Yay. And so... You all gather up the provisions that Digo acquired, uh, Alphonse acquired, and uh, meet up at the entrance to the old city along with uh, this uh, you know, very scruffy-looking man who goes by Mumbles and has agreed to be your guide. Which we appreciate. Mm-hmm. He says, so we'll go, we'll start uh, sort of walking around... Uh, the streets that are near here and see if we can't pick up a trail. From what I know, it's been a few days, so we'll see, but we have noticed that we have noticed that the blood are trying to sneak through, and so maybe they've got a spot down here. Maybe that's where we'll find your chick. Hopefully. But, uh, yeah, just stay close. Make sure you keep your lights lit, but not super bright. Don't, don't uh, drown them in oil or anything. We don't want to announce her presence too loudly. Just, you know, just don't go wandering off looking for shiny things. Next thing you know, you're down here forever. That would be bad. All right, let's get a move on. And uh, leads you into the building. And you all climb down the hole, down the steps, into what seems to be some sort of old abandoned shop. All in, in the lantern light. All sort of dusty and ashy. and then. He opens the front door, and you find yourself in what looks just like another somewhat more old-fashioned city street, just with uh, you know, a ceiling of stone. 
And Mumble says, right, welcome to the old city. Here we are again. If you would, sir. All right, well, we'll just pick a direction and be on our way, I guess. And he, he just uh, sort of flips a coin and then heads down towards one one of the streets. As you walk along, uh, it, it's it's sort of laid out kind of like the streets above. It's, you know, somewhat grid-like, but uh, a lot of... A lot of streets are closed off by collapsed passages, and you know the air is stuffy and dusty and not healthy to breathe. Uh, then he stops, and you hear sort of loud shuffling and skittering, mm-hmm. and sort okay. of feral yelps. And Mumble says, "Those might be our guys, but well, some of some of the Forgotten spend so much time down here that they're half feral." If you know what I mean, they're like they'll react like animals more than people. So either they'll just sort of run and hide, or he uh, more face off. <laughs> then they become animals or run from us. Yep. And uh, slowly you see uh, a few heads peeking out from the rubble and buildings. Uh, actually, quite a few more than you expected. Uh, from the sounds, and uh, starting to feel more and more like an ambush. Gonna take a step back. Cross and those out. Get my gun. Oh boy. Take out my little bag of flash powder. Love flashing. All right. Uh, the uh, the sort of feral people seem to be looking among themselves, wondering if if they rush you. They can, at the very least, you know, get the supplies off you, even if others die in the process. Can I dual wield the crossbow and the gun? <laughs> sure, but that that gives you, you know, two targets out of what looks like more than a dozen. Well, more. Than it a dozen. actually also shows me as having way more firepower. I do have a smoke bomb. It's essentially a flashbang. Mumble scar, you know. Trying to stay still, but kind of grumbling over his shoulder, says, "One of you do something to scare him off, or something." All right, I'm gonna throw the flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually that. It's it, as it says on my sheet. It's uh, four, but four packets of our chemical flash powder. But flash powder is pretty much just a flashbang without the noise. Yeah. So I'm just gonna throw that at them. And hope that the sudden bright light scares them off. How have we not used that before? Because I didn't I even know we had it. I, had I know. It. Yeah, it's, <laughs> just, it's just on the Beguiler's equipment sheet. It's on the Beguiler's equipment sheet, but I'm, I'm just so used to just relying on magic that I looked at my sheet and was like, huh, I have flashbangs. And that seems so in character, too. It, I have four is. packets of flash powder, a glowing spear, and a pair of brass knuckles. All right, there is a bang and a flash, and you know the these denizens of the dark, which are not quite used to bright lights, all of a sudden uh, mm. are all dazed. And uh, Mumbles goes this way and starts running like hell. Leg it, running. Leg it. Every, everybody, roll to run like Following hell. Following suit. Oh, goody. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm oh, really no, fantastic God today. Damn it! I just passed. I nowhere close. Not even. Not even anywhere close, and it's not worth going down. See ya. Bye. We're not slow. We're covering the retreat. We are. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely what we're doing. You want to push your luck? It is not worth no. it for me to do so. I have 65 in Run Like Hell. It is not worth it. I mean, you could push your luck three times. I know. I don't want to. <laughs> just want to suffer. All three challenge dice. I yeah, that's why. <laughs> Mine's 65 as well, so I just passed. <laughs> Mine's 50, and I, I yeah, no. <laughs> No, I'm good with not rolling challenge die, thanks. All right. Re- so, <laughs> uh, die. so Trix and Alphonse, you keep up with uh, Mumbles 
having gone down a couple twists and turns to get away, and Mumbles goes, "All right, huh, I think we lost him. Uh, where, where each are each you two friends?" <laughs> and uh, back there. um, back. Oh, Katya and Rebecca. Uh, you two went down a different street, and now you have no frame of reference for where the rest of your group is. We split the party. Don't you know? You never split the party. <laughs> Ladies' night! This is going to be great! <laughs> Ladies' night. Well, that's alright. If you two end up getting lost forever, then Alphonse's mum has got an excellent, fucking like, easy decision to make. <laughs> uh, I could do worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll flashbang you as well. <laughs> I've still got three of these. But not wait, don't waste that. <laughs> that was what he was implying, Smug. <laughs> don't. And Mumbles groans and looks to, uh, looks to you two and says, uh, "We, if we're going to find him, we're going to have to head back the way we came, which means potentially running into the mob again." I guess we can try to be bigger than Flash Powder. Trixana, oh. how good are you at not being seen? <laughs> Um, have you met me? Yeah, I know, and I just had to be nice and ask anyway. Maybe I'm I too optimistic. Pre- um, so he starts to lead you back, and, uh, Katya and Rebecca, uh, you're sort- you sort of lay flat against a wall as a few of the- the feral people sort of run by, thankfully without noticing you. And as things start to quiet down again, you hear sort of a hissing sound. Uh, it never ends! <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess we start sort of heading back the way we came? Or as, like, efficiently as we can, anyway? Basically. Um, what's your specialty again? Cleaner? Um, Nothing helpful. <laughs> yeah, clean up it. Literally nothing helpful. <laughs> Um, Katya, roll to locate someone with four challenge dice. <laughs> okay. You've got this. I believe in you. No, I don't. I already know the answer to this. Now nah, you're going to roll a one and no challenge die. Gosh. Ha! Huh. See? Told you it was fine. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you rolled successfully to locate someone. And got three drawbacks. Um, um, almost seen a couple times. I'm trying to think because you're in the old city, so the limitations of that are very slim. Let's see. Um, actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say you managed to uh, you managed to the two groups finally managed to unite, but uh, as you know, you're sort of walking back towards each other. Mumbles points behind you and says, Look out! And then, as you turn around, you see this sort of person with a uh, sort of almost scaly yellow boiled skin sort of hobble towards Crossbow you. Crossbow is already being fired. <laughs> Roll to shoot someone. We are not playing games down here. Hell no, we're not. No, like, we're not. Like, you don't even. <laughs> You just blind fire. Is this considered a minion? <laughs> just roll. I did roll. Oh, uh, with your hand crossbow, um, you manage to get, to get this thing straight in the heart, and it falls to the ground. Oh. And uh, whip round, blind fire, tail. It. Uh, chokes up this sort of substance from its mouth that uh, smells acrid and and, and, uh, sort of burns away at the cobblestone beneath you. Okay. Gross. Super gross. I am not cleaning that. It makes me so. Could be worse. It could be worse. It could be worse. It could be worse. It could be worse. Mumble says, oh, there we go. Guess we got a weak one here. That's good. Oh. Joy! 
Wow. If this is I'm so continuing. happy for us. No, I don't I I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I'm not thinking about it. I could think of seven uses for that. I then you <laughs> You're shush. No, he can do what he wants. You both shush. What did I do? You're thinking something. I'm always thinking things. It's how I phone sentences. Um sometimes. <laughs> Let's, uh, just gonna turn to our guide and be like, let's just keep, uh, keep going, shall we? Well, we need some kind of lead. And I've been thinking, if the blooded are trying to make a move down here, then they've got to have some way to, well, find their way, right? Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm thinking, let's head back to the entrance and then look around for some kind of... Maybe they left some sort of marker or something that they can follow, is what I'm thinking. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, I mean, how are they how are they making their way around around without you know having us to guide them? That's almost kind of insulting, really. But anyway, all right. This way, and we'll we'll take the long way around so we don't run into that mob again. If in before the mob is in the long way. <laughs> There's two mobs. Thank There's you. four. <laughs> Thankfully not. Bumble says, we seem to have scared that gang away, and... Uh, don't think you got this bad down here. Something's going on down here today. Don't get... No, you really love it. here on a special day. Hmm. We're gonna have a mutant carnival. So, uh, he leads you back to the entrance, and I guess what I want you guys to do is roll uh, something that'll help you find hidden things in the environment. Can I roll conceal an object to find concealed objects? No. Case the joint? Yep. Okay. So Anything I mean, else? Sure. I mean, if I can't use yeah. that to look for a secret hey! thing, yeah, then I guess I'll just, Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> I got it. Unless it's bureaucracy, I'm not finding it. Uh, if there's magic, I'm not that good. <laughs> Unless it's magic or talking to people. Oh, okay. It's all right, I got it. <laughs> all right, so Katya manages to find... Uh, what sort of symbol would the blooded use, do you think? Uh... Like if they were to like, uh... like paint it or scratch it into a wall. Probably something... You'd want it to be simple and inconspicuous. So you're looking for something that, that could be... Um, Maybe like... Literally anyone... A diagonal and three scratches going, like, perpendicular to it. So, so it, like, kind of so looks like a wound bleeding. Or stitches. I like the scratches idea because, yeah, it'd be the type of thing you'd do if there's, like, monsters roaming around. Because you'd just be like, oh, yeah, they totally just scratched the wall. Ignore this. Mm. All right. Uh, but, yeah, Katia manages to distinguish the sort of random marks on the wall from... Uh, a set that looks kind of deliberate and uh, leads down a particular path, and uh, you start to follow it. Um, this, not gonna lie, this session may end up being a bit short because I didn't have that much put in it. That's okay. <laughs> it's cool. So, but I'm I'm trying to like figure out what would be down here. Uh, so for long, uh, the sort of collapsed roads open up into sort of almost kind of like a town square in a commoner's district sort of a great round you can almost you can see like wooden ashes of burned down like uh carts and you know, store carts that uh people in the old city might have used already picked clean of anything useful uh mm -hmm. and a ways away you can see a uh, sort of a large uh townhouse building and there are lights inside which is incredibly odd. And you can see sort of silhouetted by those lights uh, some uh, people sort of walking around that building almost in a patrol pattern. Mm. I would imagine bloody. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Some sort of hideout. Do they patrol, though? I don't see why they wouldn't. And if they're sending out patrols, it would make sense for them to have picked you know, I mark up. Yeah, it seems to be the blooded from uh since this is where the markings led and 
you can see a bit of red on the people walking around. And Mumbles just sort of grimaces and says, I was paid to help you figure out the old city, not the storm a dang compound. No, you're fine. No, just I'm fine. We can... As long as we're able to find you afterwards so we can get out. Yeah, I'll... Yeah. Just hang around. I guess I shall. And I'll try not to look too tasty. As as you can. We're going to find his body later. Mm. Aren't we? Look, I'll be in the area Don't and... Don't that while he's here. <laughs> I'll be in the area, and if you're clear, just, just head down this way, and I'll find you, all right? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, well, so, you... Me? Sorry, what? I'm we can get in there. If we do have to get in there. Actually, how about we take a little break, about five minutes, and then when we come back, we can say, uh, you guys uh, do like a bit of a planning session down here in the old city. Okay. Ooh. Makes sense to me. Yep. Yeah, just by, by just... finding a little hideout in the ruined buildings, scouting it from there. Mm -hmm. Yep, alright. All right. So, when we come back, we will resume uh, the till death job.